Hey guys, Justin here with Razorback Off-Road. Today we're installing a rear storage rack to this Kawasaki Mule FX. Stick with me, we'll do a quick overview of the parts, hardware, and tools, and then we'll go through the step-by-step -step process to get this installed. Let's get started. Included with your storage rack is four lower mounting brackets, two side panels, two halves of the center storage tray, a center divider, and a center support bracket. For tools, all you'll need is a 3 8 socket and wrench, a 7 16 socket and wrench, and whatever driver you've got available. To start, we're going to assemble the upper tray. First thing we'll do is take our center support bracket and set it in place over the joint. Uh, it's easiest, and you're gonna have to put that bracket in to the angled section of the tray. Um, if you try and do it backwards, it doesn't fit in place. So set that in place, set it down, and then slide it over inch place between the gap. Once you have those pretty, pretty well lined up, take your center divider and set it in place. Um, this this angle is obviously going to have to match the front of the tray. So set that in between the two trays and in place. Start with grabbing my quarter 20 bolts and hand tighten the outside bolts first. Next, I'll get the bolts that hold in the center divider. Now that we've got those all started, I'll go back and get them all tightened in place with our wrenches and sockets. Now that we have those tightened up, I'm gonna flip it over and get to these two bottom brackets, the bottom holes. Next, we're gonna connect the side panel to the storage tray. To do that, it's easiest if you orient the side panel with the flat down so it sits nice on the table and it should rest there while you lift up your center tray. Make sure that your angle here is matching the side. And those parts are just gonna kinda have to slide together. So I'm gonna start that there on the bottom with that flange and then slide those together like that. Now that we have those in place, we're gonna start all the bolts and nuts. We'll get those all started and we'll hand tighten everything down and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Next, we've oriented the rack upright so that we can get to these rear three bolts on each side that we couldn't get to when it was laying down on its back. So we'll get those in place, three on each side. Now that we've got all the bolts tightened down, we're gonna place it on the machine. It's nice if you've got an extra set of hands to help put that in place. This rack is actually designed so that it can be placed on in either direction depending on whatever your preferences are. To attach the rack to the machine, we're gonna take our lower clamping bracket and slide it into the slotted hole here. Put that in place and then set our bolt in from the top. 
To reach that nut, it's gonna be easiest to set that nut inside your 7 16 wrench. And then you can reach around from the outside and use the wrench to hold that in place to get started. And then tighten it down. It's important that you don't over tighten these and deform that lower clamping bracket. So just tighten that up nice and snug. That completes the install for this rear storage rack. Don't forget to head over to RazorbackOffRoad.com to check out all of the other accessories that fit along with this rack. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can keep up to speed with all of our cool new products. And as always, we hope to see you out on the trail.